I just did to my car. I am freaking out right now. A photo shoot today um and i'm wearing my favorite color oh, i'm always the happiest when i wear yellow um but yeah now i'm looking at my makeup but anyway i have a photo shoot today with my friend paul from twin sauce and luke and paul are always on the vlogs and like they are so talented so i'm always asking them to help me film things and do photo shoots and oh yeah lila's in the sink because that's you know a normal cat behavior thing to be doing why are you in the sink, Lila? Lila. Hey, Lila. Why are you in the sink? She refuses to answer. <clears throat> anyway, Luke and Paul are so talented, so I'm so thankful for them. They help me film and take pictures and do all the things um, a lot. So, also, can I just say, I moved my cactus in the bathroom, and I'm a fan. I really like it. Guess? If it's real or fake, what, what is your guess? Real or fake? <laughs> Definitely fake from Ikea, only because it was cheaper than buying a real one. Cactuses are super easy to keep alive, so I didn't buy a fake one because I couldn't keep it alive. Um, I just bought it because it was a good deal at Ikea, so yeah. Anyway, yay for photo shoots and yay for this. Okay, so this looks like a dress, but, but it's actually a romper panther whatever you call it jumpsuit jumper that's it it's a jumper <laughs> so i can do lots of tricks in it <laughs> dress it's jumper okay i just literally ruined my day i cannot believe i just did that so i was pulling up to the atm and i wasn't paying attention i guess there was like this Thing. And look what I just did to my car. I am freaking out right now. Hey guys, this is what I just did in my car. I cannot believe I did that. So I ran into the side of a pole and this bent this in and it broke my window. And now this thing is broken. I can't believe I did that, wow. Okay, so I'm sitting here talking myself through it and I'm like, you know what? It's done. I messed it up, I broke it. I wasn't paying attention, so what can I learn from it? Lesson learned, pay attention. <laughs> and honestly, you really don't learn things until you make a mistake, so oh, I'm just like so frustrated, but I'm like, that's not gonna change the situation, like just being annoyed with myself, so I can just learn from it and realize now when I go through a drive through watch out for those giant poles that they have there. I still can't believe I did that. Okay. Want to be on my vlog? <laughs> the nice thing about hanging out with another vlogger. So it's Paula's time. I feel like I, ha I haven't hung out with both of you together. Uh, well, I haven't seen Luke in like months. So you haven't even seen. I saw him at the airport. Yeah, you did. Last yeah. Vlog. But Paula's sweet and picked me up after my mm, snafu. I totally vlogged about it when it happened to you. I was like, I can't hey, you can't not leave. vlog about that. I mean, stuff. yeah. Uh, so Paul, I literally, we're supposed to have the shoot and I messed my car up and so I was like, Paul, can you pick me up? <laughs> so that we can still have the photo shoot yeah. and you have to pick me up because that's where I am. Oh, right here you are, face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor so next location is this amazing bookstore. He's here for the shot. He just found a step stool. Quite a lonely world that we're living in. Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure. Everything makes total sense when you're next to me. lesson learned pay attention and the funny thing was I was in the drive-thru I wasn't on my phone I was literally reaching for my wallet because I was going to the ATM and um, yeah just one of those freak things but it's amazing how little things can make you so much more thankful like I, I never thought about my windows before now I'm just like praise God for a window so yeah anyway lesson learned so we're having a nice peaceful morning the boys are watching a movie and Aj the Maj, what are you creating? A flower. I 
cannot get over your skills. You can draw flowers probably better than me. Actually, not probably, definitely better than me. It's amazing, Aj. How do you get inspiration for your artwork? Um, going to the Nelson. The Nelson Atkins Museum. We need and to I go was there just again. actually looking at that. That's oh, you're doing. you're looking at these flowers. I love that you have a little chocolate on your face left from breakfast. When we just color together, I'm just coloring in a coloring book because I don't know. I just like to color things that are already created, but you like to create your own art, don't you? Freestyle. Freestyle. In the middle. Oh, wow. Such attention to detail. Yeah. Detail. I love it. And I outlined it all, and then out, I'm getting ready right to outline this stem after I make it fat enough. <laughs> wow. Where did you learn how to outline? Did you learn that from your art camp? Nope. No? You just figured that out? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Okay. So our paint party turned into a, like, family paint party. What are you making, Maddox? I'm making a paint. You're making a paint? Are you making a rainbow? I'm making, making a rainbow too, Mom. You're making a rainbow? Yeah, I'm just mixing this all up. Wow, that's very colorful. And then you're just going to add to your picture you already did, Aj? You're yeah. going to add to it? I'm wow. So much artistry going on right here. I got paper. You're already done? Yeah, got paper. You're done with paper? <laughs> okay, that didn't last long. <laughs> to be outside, so we're eating lunch on the porch in the shade. <laughs> Do you dip your grapes in ketchup, Maddox? Here, Maddie. What? No, I'm no grape. No, nope. now, now he doesn't want it. Ooh, Hi. you're gonna do it? Oh, who cares? It doesn't really taste that bad. Oh, I guess. Maddox, you dip everything in ketchup, don't you? Here mm. we go. Three, oh wait. <laughs> Three, two, one. Is it good? Mm. It's not that bad, is it? Uh -huh. All right, tell us why you want to be out here in this 100 degree weather. Because I want to go to the park. And I know you do, but it's understand. so, so hot. I'm all about the park normally, but it is so hot. It's Dang. like crazy what? hot. Oh my, she doesn't trust you. <laughs> he was just petting you, Aj. Mommy. Maddox, everyone wants, your, wants me to cut your hair. Mommy. I, I'm not a dog, second of all. I don't trust his little dogs. hands. His little hands could pull my hair. And I don't know if they're dirty or not. That's true. He does always have something nasty on his hands. And he was chewing right behind Mommy. my hair. And I don't want my... And his mouth was dirty, so... <laughs> all valid I reasons. I stay clean. I'm a clean person. A few things. Oh, here I am with the scarf again at the end of the vlog. I swear it's just coincidence that I happen to always be wearing this headscarf at the end of the vlog. I don't wear this every day, but for some reason at the end of the vlog, I'm always wearing it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I love headscarves, hats, those things. That's why I wear them all the time. Okay, so I just got back from worship night at my church. It was a women's worship night and it was just invigorating. If I look like, like I've been crying, it's because I have, because I cry in worship all the time. Like, that's just me. But I just wanted to share a little tidbit with you guys before the vlog ends because I just feel so inspired. Um, one thing that stuck out to me, there was a million really amazing little things mentioned in the worship night. But one thing that the teacher mentioned was, you are perfectly equipped for the path that you are on right now. So whatever path or journey you're in, God has perfectly equipped you for that. Um, so even if you're walking through something right now that feels really heavy and really undoable, rest assured that you are perfectly equipped for everything you need um and not only that but he won't let you walk it alone and that was just so huge to me like because i've been dealing with so much doubt and i feel like there's always so much doubt in the journey um that makes you question if you're on the right path or if this is really what you should be doing um and i just want to encourage you that you God has equipped you for exactly what you're going through. Whether you think you can handle it or not, he is giving you the tools um, to be able to walk through it. That's my tidbit. I also wanted to get back to doing Instagram shoutouts because I said I would do that 
and I kind of stopped and forgot about it. You are not following me on Instagram. You should at Brit Noel. So shout out to Christian underscore Oz. He said on one of my pictures, You've grown so much. You seem so much happier and brighter. I'm here for the melanin popping, chocolate dripping, black girl magic times 10. And then she did like clap emojis and heart eye emojis. Oh, the sweetest comment. I love that. Oz. Instagram shout out goes to Butterfly Love 41. Thank you, friend. Any underscore C 43220. And. She commented on one of my um, pictures, and yeah, thanks for following along. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass, and I am going places. Makes me laugh above the irony of everything.